we start with this broad story. In the move to support the economy, the U.S. Federal Reserve announced a 0.5% cut in interest rate, signaling a shift towards a more accommodative monetary policy. The decision reflects increasing confidence in the inflation trajectory and aims to address concern about job market conditions. Additionally, Federal Reserve officials anticipate the Fed's benchmark falling by another half of a percentage point by the end of the year, another full percentage point in 2025, and by a final half a percentage point in 2026 to end in a 2.75% to 3% range. Fed Chair Jerome Powell offers more information on the recent decision. My colleagues and I remain squarely focused on achieving our dual mandate goals of maximum employment and stable prices for the benefit of the American people. Our economy is strong overall and has made significant progress toward our goals over the past two years. The labor market has cooled from its formerly overheated state. Inflation has eased substantially from a peak of 7 percent to an estimated 2.2 percent as of August. We're committed to maintaining our economy's strength by supporting maximum employment and returning inflation to our 2 percent goal. Today, the Federal Open Market Committee decided to reduce the degree of policy restraint by lowering our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. This decision reflects our growing confidence that with an appropriate recalibration of our policy stance, strength in the labor market can be maintained in a context of moderate growth and inflation moving sustainably down to 2 percent. We also decided to continue to reduce our securities holdings. I will have more to say about monetary policy after briefly reviewing economic developments. <clears throat> Recent indicators suggest that economic activity has continued to expand at a solid pace. GDP rose at an annual rate of 2.2 percent in the first half of the year, and available data point to a roughly similar pace of growth this quarter. <clears throat> 